Hello everyone and welcome to this session about executing encoded commands in PowerShell. Sometimes we need to avoid displaying sensitive information to the user. And such information such as password or a key phrase, uh, sometimes we need to store them. The one way to handle these things is to have encryption. Uh, but it is not always simple to deploy such kind of solution. And if we are just writing a small script for a certain purpose, it will add more and more complexity to the script and it will also require a lot of testing. So as you know, adding more features require more testing for that. So it's not always suitable for all situations. So I came across such a requirement where I was supposed to store the password in the script. So I tried this approach and this is demonstration for that. And uh, I disclaim that this approach uh, does not implement any kind of security from hacker or uh, anybody like that. Uh, but definitely it can avoid displaying password in the plain text. So the overall the purpose of the script is not to reveal password in the plain text. And uh, definitely we should never reveal the password uh, to the script in the plain text format so that anybody can copy and just come to know how system is working and how the things are designed. So what we are going to use uh, in the, our approach, we are going to convert the string to a base64 string and then we will use the same string in our script. So it will not be easy to understand what exactly this is doing. So uh, we'll have a demonstration for that. Okay. So as I mentioned before, uh, we are just going to hide the password from regular user so that uh, your password or any secret key phrase is not displayed on the screen. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll first convert this string uh, to a base64 or a hexadecimal value and then that string will be used in another script of, as an encoded form. So the logic is we have the first part uh, where we are just going to create a hexadecimal code uh, for that secret string so what we do we'll declare a variable code line so here we put write host hidden text or a secret text and uh, after this line we close this and then we have unicode Uh, here we convert the same string as uh, Unicode. So what we do, we just run system dot text dot encoding, and uh, we call the function Unicode dot get bytes, and we put the code line here so till now it looks good uh, then we convert it to hex text and uh, we'll use the convert convert and then to base 64 string and this is the unicode Now, if you display the hex text, you get a string. Okay, so this string is the one uh, which we are going to use in another script, and that is our main script. So here we just have to uh, use this as a as a variable. So what we'll do, we'll declare a variable dot dollar password, and then we just call PowerShell hyphen encoded. So here uh, we have a method called encoded command. So that is the parameter we are going to use. If you want more details, so we can just uh, we can just try here to get more details what PowerShell has. So 
um, that's fine so here there are different options you have so one of the option is the encoded command so what it says accepts a base 64 encoded string version of a command use this parameter to submit commands to windows powershell that requires complex quotation marks or curly braces so uh, the, this can be avoided uh, and this is also useful uh, it's uh, rightly written here if you have some complex key string or something like that uh, you can also pass as an encoded command to the script so uh, this was the help site uh, so now we have encoded string uh, for that so this is the command that is encoded and uh, it will be stored in the password variable if we run it this is a secret text so uh, so as you saw there are two portions uh, one is the preparation part so here you always you can come you can have a handy script where you keep all these uh, lines there and you just generate the secret string and if something change for example like and the you know, hello world and uh, you run it you get the value and then you pass it here and when we run it okay it says hello world so uh, if you see the code looks very much similar but there are definitely differences in some places uh, here like ACIAB so it's all encoded the changes here like this so uh, it looks almost the same so um, you can use this in any of your script and, um, and, and you can keep a handy script like this uh, to generate the string all the time thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe